The minister incurred the wrath of ACG workers following a recent order for the arrest of the Ashanti East manager of the company, engineer Riafe Asumining, after ECG National Task Force disconnected parts to the Kumasi Technical University over indebtedness. The workers initiated a series of actions to demand an apology from the minister, but the minister remained unapologetic. The leadership of the ECG Workers Union, who led the protest against the regional minister at the May Day event, insisted Osei Mensah should apologize and withdraw the police case against their manager. We were not surprised because we've been told already that there is no way he will apologize. But we were disappointed because we thought it's a very uh, good opportunity for him to apologize. And since that is what he wants, but we are not satisfied with a lot of allegations that he made in his press conference and will come out. I think our attention was taken by this program and after the program, you'll hear from us. Until the minister withdraw the case from the police and apologize to our general manager and ECJ Aho, we are not going to do anything with him. So this is the sign to show that we are not ready to listen to him. We are not ready to listen to him. It's a protest, peaceful protest on the May Day. The ECG workers, however, resumed their seats at the parade grounds when the minister's speech was over. The Ashanti regional minister, Simon Osei-Mensah, urged all to help ensure free and fair elections. A successful election is not solely the responsibility of politicians or electoral bodies. It is a collaborative effort requiring the unwavering dedication of every citizen, particularly our diligent workers and committed social partners. Our workers, the backbone of our nation, play a crucial role in the electoral process, from ensuring the smooth functioning of polling stations to safeguarding the integrity of the ballot. It is therefore important that we utilize the collective power of workers and social partners to build a future that is peaceful, prosperous, and inclusive for all.